And of course, that brilliant net code here. But our first match is going to be Julio up against Dingus Khan. Julio still representing that Richter, of course. Dingus on Idol. Yeah, Julio is like a Texas offline guy, for sure. He used mm -hmm. to show up to all of the Texas tournaments. To my knowledge, he plays nobody else but Riptor. Yeah. Dingus, he, he is a Discord lord. You know, he is in all these online tournaments and stuff like that. But he's more than a match for Julio, I can Woo. guarantee you. Well, excellent start here. Going for heavy punch off flames. Nice light that breaker. That was a great break. Mm -hmm. Trying to cover that combo breaker post-game with the Meteors. Yep, let's go for the side swap, build little, up for that warrior meter as well. Little unbreakable combo there from Dingus. Ooh! Ooh. All right, nice early break here for Julio. This oh. one. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you really got to respect uh, Idol here, especially with those unique stances that switch back and forth. It can be really challenging for players to switch, but I mean, if you're a master of Idol, you know when to expect these changes. Absolutely, and you got to know how to deal with it on the fly. Like right now, for example, Whoa. Julio is going to wake up Clever Girl. He knows he's got the instinct to back him up on that as well. Yes. All right, nice tick throw there. Oh, try to go for a sneaky overhead. Oh. Disgusting con, ready to cover it there. Now, this is not so great for Julio because if he had popped that instinct, he would have been able to have another one for his next round. True. It's possible that he might only get one this time. All right, nice flip out there. The overhead does find the mark. Medium lockout suspended. Sure. Oh, oh my god, the tail flip reset, the lockout. And that's Julio taking that health bar away from Dingus before he yep. gets to pop his instinct as well. Okay, so about even Stevens here on resources. Nice dash under with the EXDP here off Shadow. Nice, building up those pips for that warrior body, mm -hmm. putting the pressure on here in the corner. This is so much chip. Ooh, a little bit late, Ooh. but we had the instinct to cover there. Nice cross up, that's a cheeky one. Yeah, it's very, very tricky. Rifter gets access to that in instinct, get the longer tail, mm -hmm. get the longer flame breath. Right. Oh, oh, unfortunate. Sometimes you just react to the sound effect too, right? That's you're right. You're expecting to count off the shadow. You heard the lockout, and it's tragic. All right, overhead once Great again. Overhead. Wasn't ready. Julio could close this out here on this setup. Nice throw. All right, one confirm is all that Julio needs. Flame carpet's a good call. Thing is trying to stay patient here. Yeah, and it's really oh. cool. Oh. So the big call out there was that. Dingus was actually a warrior stance, so Julio didn't have to worry about teleport right there. Oh no, all that we needed was Ultra. Oh, oh the pressure is being put yeah. on. This is so much to oh, deal no. with. Can Julio weather this storm right now? That's a reach. That's oh, so oh, the, the trade! The lockout! Oh my god, is Dingus gonna take this? Alright, we got Mage Stance. Oh no! Oh my god. Just confirm, just confirm it to Ultra. You should be able to wrap this oh, up. Oh, no! that's a double KO for our first KI match at Combo Breaker. All right, a I mean, double KO. I mean, that is so rare in Killer Instinct, especially to the fact that Dingus was in danger, which means all that Julio oh, needed was that confirm into Ultra. And on the other side of the coin, so did Dingus and wasn't able to catch it there. That is one way to start a tournament. Yeah. Out. Oh, Ooh, yeah, big, big miss. Oh, but a big miss on the punish, too. Both these players playing a little bit nervous. Yeah. A little bit nervous here on this big stage. Will Dingus capitalize on this lockout? Yes, he will. Oh, yes. Good grip. Over 50 there. Got a pit for Warrior. Watch yeah. Watch the electricity. Oh, overhead attempt. Mm -hmm. Wow. That was nice. Ooh. He linked those two. All right, got the wall. Gonna take the damage, I don't blame him. Nice. Wow, what a bait. Very good stuff. And just trying to build up those levels there, just to get a little bit extra on the meter. Nothing too fancy. And then yeah. we got the side swap, or stance swap as well. Dingus looking very strong coming out the gate of this match here. Mm -hmm. Wow, I love that little Woo! combo from Julio because that recapture isn't breakable. Yep. And now we're starting to see these tail flip resets not work out so well for Julio. Dingus is starting to scout them. Look at Dingus <laughs> right now. Nice. He's looking like a wizard with this oh scepter. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh okay. the trade. Ooh. Oh, see, I like the idea though. Julio wanted to try to bait something out. Or excuse me, Disgusting wanted to try to bait something out using the jump heavy punch. Ooh, knockdown setup here. Gonna take the flame carpet. Yeah, wow. chip it out, chip it out. I'm surprised we got the chip out there, actually. That little head punch there yes. from Dingus was an attempted head switch. We're gonna see a big instinct pop here to capitalize off of this light lockout. I like it a lot. Nice. Nice damage and a level 3 ender too. All right, got the cancel, but yo, oh, we'll definitely trade in man. Dingus's favor. 
See, I always say that this instinct with Idol is a robbery no matter what happens, <laughs> because as long as this man has instinct, you do what he says. Yes. You put your hands in the air and you block. Yes. You let yes. him do what he's got to do. Definitely, look, Idol needs to throw a temper tantrum, let it cool off. <laughs> look, whatever you got to do. Yeah. Get it, man. Oh, no lockout to capitalize on there from Julio. He ended that combo a little early. Oh, I like the meaty setup here. Able to get that pip. Nice. Oh, but no good. Could have capitalized off that maybe, but boom, probably boom, didn't want to get broken boom, there. Boom. Oh, I think, yeah. Dingus could have got a shoulder linker off of yeah. that. Nice throw. Yeah. Okay. Alright, trying to play the zoning game here. Try to keep Richter at bay. I mean, that's a really smart Very call, smart. right? Because she is so difficult to deal with at close range. You're building a wizard stance. Building up all this potential damage in the process. Julio pops instinct to close the gap. Ooh. Get some plus frames, baits the reversal out. Oh, trying to jump throw. Something doing. Nice sweep. Ooh, plus frames. That yes. standing medium kick is very plus. Oh, caught by the overhead, and I tell you what, Julio's been getting a ton of mileage out of that overhead in particular. Disgusting got to do something. He's got to start sand blocking, but it's so scary against Rinter. It is, and Julio just used two bars on that Shadow Clever Girl. I don't think it got the damage uh, to kill on that one, unfortunately. Dingus got instinct. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Try to go for Chicago punish after the jump heavy punch there. That ain't gonna do it here. <laughs> Not even in Chicago. Not even in Chicago. <laughs> that was a nice catch on the back jump there from Dingus Khan. And this is so much potential damage to be yes. cashed out. Yes, good God, the level four. Oh, with instinct and as well. And getting a meteor set up. Yes. Oh my God, this is not Ooh. looking good for Julio. It's a wrap. 2-0 lead for Disgusting Khan, and it was disgusting in those last few moments in the corner here. We still got one more game opportunity here for Julio to try to survive. The first game that we were looking at, obviously, is about as close as it gets when you yeah, get a double KO. But that right. match, Dingus seemed like he got zero, zero. a handle on his nerves. It was much more in control in that situation. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, you know, Idol can be so overwhelming to deal with because now so that I think about it, there are so few Idol players. Like, yes, at this point in time, folks have explored Idol, but you kind of really trying to figure out how to deal with both stances, Ooh. especially being able to cancel with these pips. And this jump arc is terrifying mm -hmm. to deal with in the warrior body. It's so fast. Very hard to anti-air. Oh! I don't hate that. I yeah, don't hate yeah, yeah. that at all. That was a good attempt. I mean, we've seen it before, back and forth here. They're trying to fake out, but this time not doing. Julio likes to leave that last mortar for the setup, and yes. I like that setup. It's, it's really so cool. Good. See? Yeah. There that is right there. Whoa. Trades with DP. I got my backup right here. Yeah. Oh, oh no, that could have been a punish right there, but Julio got away with it. Nice teleport out of the corner. Let's Seeing set up with some meteor. It's worse than foul. So <laughs> tough to see anything going on in that meteor shower. Bates the clever girl once again. An early again. lockout. Really good round here for Dingus once again. Looking strong in the round here. Julio can still turn it around. Has one 100%. bar, has instincts. Ow. Reversal, because why not? Get off me. Go back to zoning. <laughs> oh my god. Those oh. shadow telus that tell strike has not worked out once. I just wanted to point that out. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's Very true. But like on jump. the frame perfect to avoid yeah. the fight. We're gonna see a confirm. Oh, oh my no. god, I love that reset attempt. Alright. Big lockout to take advantage of it here. Now you gotta deal with instinct idol. Yeah. With two warrior pips, you got the jump cancel and the run cancel. Scary stuff. We'll see here. Oh! Get off me. No Telestrike. shot. Taking oh, the corner. Nice. And goes for the cancel to extend that combo, but nice breaker from Julio. Returning the favor. Oh no. This is gonna be a ton of damage. I don't know if it's gonna be enough to kill with the second oh, bar. Yeah. Oh, because we need a recap. Out. Yeah, yeah. Right, Ooh. Good defense. Just be patient because, look, if Julio gets that one confirm and you oh, don't break, there we go. 3-0 victory. But let's not get it twisted here. The first game was a double KO, but regardless, Ding has really picked it up. No. Yeah, that was not free by mm -hmm. any, any means at all. Julio definitely started to make a comeback there. It's just it's yes. tough when you don't gauge your options against this instinct idol. He has a top <laughs> five instinct that's so terrifying. Oh my goodness. Meteors and lightning and teleports, oh my. Yeah, the visual noise from idol alone is so difficult to deal with. And then you have to think about, like, you have your cancels off of your pit stances as well. 
I mean, this character is beastly. A terrifying creature to deal with, to say the least. I mean, especially the fact that it's head splitter. Head splitter, come on, man. It's great to be back in Schaumburg once again. <laughs> Hanging out in, look, coast, no coast, no kings, but coast to coast games out here in this venue. Absolutely. We got people from all kinds of coasts at this tournament. Mm -hmm. And this is where KI is at home. Yes. If the name didn't tell you just with the name alone, you should look at some of the players that are in this bracket. Yes. It's insane. The turnout for this game. You know this game's 10-year anniversary is going to be in this November? Oh, my goodness. Does that yeah. make you feel old? <laughs> it makes me feel old every time yeah. I say it. We're a whole Xbox generation removed yeah. from the release yeah. of this game. And oh, what a man. time it's been, especially, too. Players still exploring. You see tons of conversations out here. You're talking about one of the great theory crafters of Killer Instinct up here, Latalis Venator, to oh come up God. here. Um, always fitting uh, some sort of information out there. Absolutely. Latalis is a super problematic player. And I mean that in the most competitive of <laughs> ways. Competitive his Agnos way, yes. is amazing. He has a great general ROM. He has a lot of characters under his belt. But the character that he's been bringing to the table in competitive bracket lately is actually Tusk. Oh, yes. His yes. Tusk is That's very true. strong. Yeah, his I Tusk is ridiculous. I remember Latalis is kind of toying around with the idea of changing over to Tusk. Uh, but yeah, to see this Agonos, of course, to be expected. But also, Latas has some experience with General Rom as well. But you're Very going up against so. Aces. Oh General my Rahm. God, what an anti air off Jeez. rip from Latalis. Look at this health difference right now. Yep, all thanks to that one wall setup. And what will General Rom do with no true reversal? Tries to go for instinct, pop to get scratch. Nice break on medium. Last ditch effort, though. Yeah, big jump and confirm. That should be the kill. Let's load up on rocks here in the corner. Yeah, the chunks that Agonos gets, oh, no. they're going to be serving him as walking armor. Yes. Interesting, though. Of course, we spent that. Oh, my Ooh. God. That round had to waste the instinct of General Rom here, but uh, lost the opportunity to go for chunk build. Up. Interesting decision. Big damage, of course. General Rom, a beast in his own right. No, he does so much damage, especially with his instinct, and you Whoop. just see that right there as he takes this huge life lead and starts to even it out a little bit more. Uh -oh. You gotta watch with these walls behind you, sir. Yeah. Two walls, folks, at home. Keep count. Don't try oh, this no! at home. You're going through that wall. Yo, this about to be a grip. This is about to be like 60-something right dude! here. Oh, ah! my God, dude. 79%? Face, get off me. <laughs> Agonos' fastest button is a six frame face. <laughs> oh! And a flower. RIP. <laughs> that was just two walls. Just two. We were just normal When man. you start moving toward just Agonos, get off me. Look at this anti air flick from Latalis, the space yes. control. And he's just walking back. Come to me, Ace. I'm going to put walls up. I'm going to put these walls up right behind you. All right, yeah, that's Latal's turn. And it's going to be real easy to make a 70% mistake. Yep, here we go. Don't forget about the wall. I just want to remind you, there's a wall behind you. Let's walk over here and have this conversation about the wall I just put up. spin a Ooh, Oh, what a shadow yep. counter. Yep, you're being a little too consistent with that string in particular, and that's one of the easier oh, routes okay. that Latalis can stand up. Has a nice reversal wake up here on the command grab. We stomp, flip. Oh. Little vibe check standing heavy punch. Very Ooh. good against Agonos as well because it will break his armor. Yes. All right, good round. Latalis incomplete oh, control. Oh, oh my goodness. That's oh, not something disconnect you Disconnect on the cable. That is unfortunate here. Not sure how this is going to work. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, so generally the rule is, of course, uh, the person who has lost their controller connection. Uh, Loses the round. Yeah. So, no fans or butts about it here. What we're trying to see be good sport about it. So if you've got an extra it's cable. Possible. Yeah, yeah. Letal, that's, that seems like the kind of thing that Letalis would do. Yeah. It's also worth noting that, I mean, at least in this circumstance, they were kind of far enough away to where you're going to see, like, possibly it's going to be easier to continue this match. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. In this particular yeah. circumstance. 
it being a tournament situation, I you know, again, like online, different story, right? We've seen it before oh, yeah. because we're so we're so used to these situations happening, especially too, like Xbox controllers, you can just pull the battery out and just plug it in the cable and just play it strictly wired. Exactly. This time around, it does look like we are going to start another game here that should be 2-0 lead for Latalis here at okay. that point. Okay, fair enough. Rules are rules. Who do they are? Check yeah. your equipment. <laughs> Check your equipment. Here we go. And it depends upon, too, because like, if that's an Xbox One controller, you're still on a micro USB? Yeah. Cool. But testament oh. to how strong these Xbox controllers yeah, I know, can be. Right? <laughs> Oh, yep, no meter, so you can still go for the oh, stats. Oh, very nice. I like that re-jump attempt there. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, no chunks. Yep. Got to back off. Ooh, perfect. Oh, my God. That was still oh, cool. Oh, no. we're swinging. See, and that's the important factor here because of the reach with heavy punch from General oh. Rob will break through that armor. You can just totally ignore it and start your strength. Case in point, Letalis is eating some Oki for eating that heavy punch right now. He's actually in a little Ooh. bit of trouble. There oh. we go, there we go. Neutral jumping. What reason to, well, like, oh. there's no reason to not neutral jump on your wake up there. And again, oh, the controller disconnect man. Latalis so will be taking man. it. Yeah. Uh, Latalis is like, what do you want me to do, man? <laughs> I, I know we want to show, but unfortunately, that yeah, is it. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, he has to take it. Uh, Tragedy. Man, that's not the way you want to No, that, not at Fort all. Chate. That is unfortunate. Gosh. Yeah, you know, sometimes then the breaks, of course, you know, Gaming Generation's up there, it does have USB-C cables, but they want to go for USB, maybe you can put another controller one up there too to get this up. You get a little pack Yeah, yeah. I don't even plan to have any double pack Yeah. Great for travel. Yes. They work on most things. Exactly. So. Yeah, the unfortunate scenario there too, because it really seemed like Ace was starting to get that ball rolling. Like, it was looking dangerous for Latalis there, especially too, finding that perfect space. It was just about to say, like, Aces get ever closer with that standing heavy punch to go around. A great reaching button in neutral. And again, against Agonos in particular, no matter how many chunks Agonos has, that's damage. Yes, and KI, they made the design decision that grounded heavy normals will negate all of Yep. And that's very anti Agonos. And it also goes to show that that button is really, really good for that. And there are also strategies that players can use that are like, how do I take the chunks away? Yes. Let me not negate them. Like, so, for example, Thunder, if I wanted to punish Agnos and he has, he's got all these chunks, right? Yeah. You can actually use Shadow Triple or Shadow Angle Slicer. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's actually much faster. And it will take the chunks away. You'll get your punish and you get a uh, chunk plus Agnos. With his fastest normal is six frames. Right, right. So very scary stuff. Well, put all the pressure on him. And that's the beauty of this game, almost being 10 years old as well, too. Like, with the age of this game, y'all have been able to explore this so much to find the nuances of each and every character. Uh, the conversation is still floating around. Like, some of the best characters in this cast, right? And we see time and time again, Rash is at the top of that conversation, yeah, too. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and I speak of that because, uh, you know, I know that Apex is in this bracket as well, in this whole block in particular. Um, in, you know, of the two pools for block A, probably one of the more deeper pools to try to survive on. You have players like Trevor is in that pool as well. Um, dual. To see. Dual, yes, dual. Dual is in Apex's pool. Yes. I'm very excited to see who we'll play today. And yes. this is also, speaking of Rash, this is Alex B's first off Gosh, this, this is his right. first off line yes. all the way from Mexico. Y'all be sure to check out the Combo Breaker soundtrack as well produced by Alex B. I yes. look, I'm downloading that as soon as it's available. So I know it's on stream. It's on Spotify. It's on Spotify. Yeah. I'm downloading. You plugged it earlier when it released. It was sick. Yeah, man. I just played Alex and some casuals over there. He's so excited to be here. Yes. Uh, yes. I haven't met a person in the tournament that's more excited to be here than you screaming yeah. like that. <laughs> so happy. Best video of being able to come play live to meet the folks who play, uh, especially too for Killer Instinct. Like the history of this game um, on the Xbox has always been like we're all online, tons of online tournaments before that became the norm, and now being able to see each other uh, from Costa Rica, we've had from Italy, we've had from Mexico, uh, just tons of players, you know, coming out to hang with us. You'd but, be surprised. There's yeah. a Japan. There's a uh, Japan scene too. True. Yes. Okay, yes. <laughs> I miss everyone from Japan, of course. Red. I, I miss you yes. out here. Oxy. I miss you as Red. well. Yes. Kesuke as well too. You know all y'all. We got Venano. Yeah, Venano, the uh, VTuber out here, extraordinaire. Venano Raccoon. Mm -hmm. That's my guy right there. Oh, you see the. I see it, okay. I see it. Nano, you can show the stuff. Show the plushie. Show the folks <laughs> that hold the plushie. 
That's your brand. All right, fine. You He's don't have to. He's got the Ultratech University shirt too. Yes, Shout out Ultra to Nikki. Yes. Has a KI school for teaching players. Yes. This looks like it's going to be a button check here. Oh, this might be a no, real match. Really? This looks like a real match. Yes, it does. Yep. Okay. I apologize, folks. We got folks. Skiz Nugget versus Venino here. Winner side of our pool here at Combo Breaker 2023. Ooh, nice. good sweep. Yeah. A smart call too, especially with the hail in the background. Ooh, I thought Venino was gonna get smoked by the shatter. Just a little later reaction, light lockout. Bro, does so much damage when you wall splat somebody Ooh. as well. Yeah, it's very interesting to see the the meta chance to really focus on wall splatting Ooh. a lot more now too. Oh, and that's gonna be it with that lockout. Venino mm -hmm. gonna use the battery ender, build of a little course, bit of meters. Very resourceful here, especially building up around the world to get that instinct filled up faster. Watch up. Woo Try to go for Roundhouse to get the armor shattered. Nice decision there because the EX wing kick will go through that hail. Ooh. Venom could have spent the bar on that lockout, chose Ooh. to hang onto it. The very late no! shadow counter is part of his instinct. Yes. That is a game mechanic now. Uh oh. Yep. Had Drop. the backup. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Could have been safe on block. And Skiz would not have had meter to shadow counter it. Nice delay manual right there to go for the light, Ooh. but Skiz is ready for it. Nice jump out of shatters. No, 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 is not having exactly. it with these shatters. Okay, yeah, oh. great call. That was a great call. Oh my god. Oh, that could have been punished, but this is going to be a shadow counter instead. I don't hate that from Venom. He was delaying that super cancel so that he could try to catch the frame trap. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're about to die anyways. You got such a life lead. Why not take that risk? Yep. All right, but it's looking scary here. If Skiz can play the zoning game really well, they have resources trying to go for the kill and avoid this danger. Trying to go for the Ooh. sneaky melt away here. Oh, look at that. What? Whiffing? <laughs> Shadow boxing. Okay, there we go. There we go. Ten blocks total. <laughs> the number one thing that I noticed here from Venino is he is not having it with this shatter yeah. whatsoever. Yeah. There is no way. Like shatter is much more easier to react to now, but offline, way way tougher to catch somebody with shatter. Right. Yeah, these reactions are great. Nice. Medium would have stayed plus on block. Ooh. Nice. Venino had his Flintstones vitamin today. He was so <laughs> ready for that anti-air. Oh, double cold shoulder. Do it again. Nice confirm here with the heavy punch. Goes for a quick one here into the corner. Resets the combo. Nice knockdown for a 31%. Oh, my God. Caught the backdash with the cold shoulder and yep. a big early lockout. <gasps> he did a shatter reset attempt. Oh, man. I see, like, I get it. On other players, I get it, right? But you've not hit one of these shatters. Exactly. That might not be the play here. Exactly. Take your damage. Throw. Oh, little setup here. What oh, a wow. whiff punish from Veneno. Yo, which one was it? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly. the scary thing about the laser sword, right? Because the light medium is so quick and it's they're both one hit, right? So it's just like, all right, well, which one do you gotta break? Oh yeah, when it's outside of a combo in that way, yeah. <laughs> Oh, nice. I thought we were going to see for Ultra. Man, that's how you feel? <laughs> we want to put on a show here. The last set was a little quick. Yeah, this was a very, very clean round from Veneno. That was very clean. You got the supreme victory. Yeah. And you can tell how easy it is for a character to exploit Glacius' wake up. Yes. With the way that Puddle Punch is, you could save immediate. He will go under the ground, and by the time he comes back up, you're already blocking. Yeah. So it covers the hold up, it covers throw mash attempt, it covers that terrible backdash that Glacius has. Veneno is just on him right now. All right. Light, no confirm. Ooh, goes for hail. So I've got the homie to back you up. Oh, my God. Hello? shoulder. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him how you really feel. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Cold shoulders. You see how conniving Skiz was before the round started. Very you much, really started yeah. thinking about it. You know what? What if I cold shoulder? Needs, needs more cold shoulder. <laughs> Oh my oh. god, what a punish there. That was some reach with that roundhouse. All right, nice. Destroys the hail. Tries to check with Crouch Light. Oh, oh no. way too far. Yep. Venom actually might have got hit by that one. Because he didn't jump. <laughs> <laughs> that that might have been that the one that would have worked. That your chance. Yeah. You missed it. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. Nice. Damn. Heavy, too. Both players sitting on two bars here. Nice sweep. There could be an explosive interaction here. Ah! 
You uh -oh. hate to see oh, it. Oh, he too. ended that combo uh -oh. so early. Wasn't expecting the lockout. Yeah, so much damage left on the table there. Wow, oh, light yep. break. Off oh, of break one almost. <laughs> that was quick. Nice pick up here. Wanted a little bit of health. Oh, nope, big that's... punish. Big punish. Yeah. There we go. Very nice. I get it. The muscle memory was there from Banana just to go through that route. Should have been a little bit more damage. Reset City in the corner oh, here. Yeah, it's a hard guess. Skiz is going to have his instinct running out right now. He's going to get some space. Try to get away. I oh, like... that is going to hit. Whoa! Oh, no! oh my god! You know what though? I do like the delay with Veneno charging these fireballs here to catch the recovery of Skiz from Liquidize. So it's that was very, very good. smart play. Yeah. It's good because he's doing such a good job at switching up his rhythm in the neutral. And that's yes. one thing that players need to do more often is sometimes you have to set a pace for somebody to follow and then just interrupt it, go yes. kind of offbeat a little bit. Exactly, exactly. Good stuff and Jago, you know, such a strong character too in this game. Like uh you know, it has a ton of great tools, great fundamentals to have, will really shine uh, in a matchup like this, especially against Glacius too, playing around that armor and being able to keep the opponent guessing, right? You're trying to counter zone a zoner with Jago, really, and are. you can do pretty well with you these can. fireballs. You can. Those large fireballs, they eat a lot. Yes. They eat through hail, they eat through everything, yeah. and they're so plus on block. Oh, yeah. They're so plus. Yeah, uh, so great set so far here. Up next, it does look like we have Duel. We just talked about oh, Duel showing man. up. and I'm very excited yes. to see Duel personally. Yes, Very, absolutely. very excited. If you guys have never seen Con Ra before, I can tell you right now that you're in, <laughs> you're in for a like, treat. You're in Like, I'm pretty sure he's still playing Con Ra, which yeah. is totally fine. That character is a beast. Duel plays Omen, too. Yes, He plays Omen, Omen a little yes. bit as, like, a backup, but I honestly think that he's better off staying with Conra. Uh, That's yes. just my personal opinion. It's just because his Conra is so amazing. And how often do you have to deal with a Conra of that caliber? Yes, and of course, really? uh, up next as well, uh, we do have Blind Gamer showing up here. And you know, sound design is always so important in fighting games. That uh, it is. But the sound design in Killer Instinct is absolutely impeccable. Like it, it's so amazing, especially to the sound differences from light, medium, heavy hits, allowing for these breaks to happen. Because you know, you have conversations with players uh, at this point in time, like trying to recognize, all right, do you know what light, medium, heavy looks like? And you can kind of tell based on the animations, mm -hmm. like how the hit sparks come off as well in certain moves, but purely off of sound for Blind Gamer here. It's insane. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's crazy how many blind players in the blind FGC community have yeah. been able to like, figure out different methods to navigate around the screen, despite the fact that there are a lot of fighting games out there that are not as accessible, but yes. they found different ways yes. to be able to do that. Accessibility is very important. Absolutely. Very important. Yeah. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see here. <laughs> it reminds me of a story of uh, there was a blind gamer from Mortal Kombat. Yes. <laughs> just the fact that they would do that based on sound, like trying to full screen, like, all right, this is how the hit sounds at full screen. And as I get closer to the opponent, that's how I'm going to... Uh, I think that might be Rattlehead. Out. Rattlehead? It I was like an so. old like MK1 and 2 player back oh, in the day. But, okay. but I'm sure currently I bet you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah, Blind Gamer plays Hisako. Mm -hmm. um, Duel Kanra. Duel has a ton of Hisako experience as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he plays with Storm. Yes. I know that him and Storm yes. are very close. Shout out to Storm. Back in the States. So, you know. Yes. Looking forward to seeing Storm at an event potentially here. Wondering if we're doing button check here. Letting the intros rock. That always makes me feel like it's definitely not a button check. Yes. Hell, hell sign. It's the calm before the storm. It man. is, you it let is. The story play out. And this stage, in my opinion, doesn't cool. get played enough, yeah. man. This stage is so cool. Yeah, we're trying to get Woo! in right away, and I can't say that I blame you because this is about to be some parkour here yeah. if you let Duel create some distance. Okay. No break quite yet, ends it early. Let's see what Duel's gonna go for here. Into the Scarabs, that is plus. Command grab into the recap, moving toward the wall. Oh, Ooh. little, oh, reset attempt scouted by Blind Gamer. Okay, nice, oh, trying to sneak in the trap. ES grab, yeah. Yo, a wall of sand and Scarabs, how do you oh, deal? I Put know. back into the corner, Scorpion set up as well too, so we can curse. Landing right on the Scarab, and Duel's ready with that Antlion recapture. We're going to see a yes. throw. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, that curse will slow a character down and give them a moon jump. Yes. Their moon jump is kind of really hard. It makes it tough to navigate the screen. Wow! What kind of setup are we going to get here? All right, just close. Keep it close. Ah, uh, unfortunate. 
the really hard part. Like, the, finding the position actually. of these scarabs is going to be really hard here. Right, the scarabs sit up here, has to hold this. This is so plus. Yeah, put in a command grab in the middle of that frame trap. Oh, nice. great break. Right, keep you guessing. And that right there confirms oh. the position of Duel, but Duel had a great reversal ready in the works. I think that was really important right there because only took the one hit. Trying to bait out exactly where Duel Ooh. ended up landing. Nice parry. Able to get that confirmed. Those long limbs from Conra might not have hurt boxes on them, but they are not safe for parries. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely still have to hold those parries. Nice command grab here. Still a lot of work here for Blind Gamer. Oh, oh scouted that yeah. teleport. Oh, oh okay, wait. Blind Gamer. Yeah. Command grab. Yeah. Yes. Just take this round here. Don't go for anything fancy. There's no This'll reason for duel to break. Out. Oh, the kill. Oh. That's unfortunate. I thought for sure we would be killing right there. Yeah, so for that air stomp, uh, duel, he's going to have access to a lot of projectile-based things. That jumping heavy kick will not only bring Conrad straight down to the ground, create a sand pit for him to use, but it's also projectile-based, which means that Blind Gamer is not going to be able to parry that. Mm-hmm. Duel going right. for his setup here. Yep. Conrad is definitely guest city when you get knocked down. Command grab. Yeah. Big unblockable tornado. Oh, the, yeah, deep cross up right there for Duel. Nice jump into oh. throw. Oh, and that's going to be a hit. Will Duel break? Yes. The oh, parry yep. or the um, stuffing the teleport attempt. Yep. Immediately ready for it with just something boom, simple boom. too, right? Just the cross light. This gives him way more knockdown time on that Shadow Command Grab Ender. Ooh! Great Shadow Counter from Blind Gamer. Yep. Can really build this up here. Timer Lockout. Command Grab. And we're gonna get a standing reset attempt here, possibly from Blind Gamer. Yeah, he went for it, wow. he went for it. Oh, yep. Good neutral jump here from Duel. Not enough to kill quite yet. One more touch. Nice and here oh, from Blind. Go for recapture. This is huge, actually. Pass one bar. We could get another standing reset attempt, or will he go for the hard knockdown? Yes, the hard knockdown. Oh, oh the command grab. Blind Gamer could run this back. Yes, very dangerous territory, but unfortunately oh. wasn't able to get the command grab because Duel tried to jump out. Blind Gamer looking way sharper this time around. Mm -hmm. Both players sitting on their nice. two bars. I like the navigation there, using the air on Ryuzan to avoid the tornado. Ooh. Wow, so tricky. Is that predictable? This is going to be more plus frames. Stinger, homing, scarab, Ooh. big punish. Nice. That was the light kick right there from Duel to try to steal the turn and build up more damage. We're already on a 50% life lead on this health bar. Plenty nice. Oh, no. He was going for sand pit there every other time. Ooh. You can definitely shadow that 100%. Early end doesn't want to build up the instinct bar for duel. Oh, speaking of instinct, yeah, there it is. Oh, and that's gonna be yeah. shadow counter for free. Man confirmed oh, just for misses oh, his ultra. Oh. You gotta be careful. This is not the place to miss your ultra. Not at all. All right, 2 0 lead for duel right now. Yeah, could have immediately confirmed an ultra like you said there. You know, followed up with a quick light auto. Uh, you know, input errors happen every now and again. Yeah. But you don't want to give opportunity for the opponent to break, especially you hate to see it, right? You know, you have victory in your hands and suddenly one break and it turns the tide. Yeah, it's very, very tough stuff to deal with here. Duel is in the corner, but he just immediately leaves. Ooh, again, the air only is on, just using that for additional navigation through the skies. Gonna get a wall splat command grab into nice a new setup. Nice. Duel has done enough of the frame trap work to where he knows he can go for command grabs now. Oh my god, the world's slowest wall jump. <laughs> <laughs> Already a floaty jump in general. Yeah, and just right. more to it. <laughs> That's definitely going to be it. Recapture. Duel might be trying to go for the wall splat here so that he can get the throw. Uh, yeah, he's not going to get it. The KV was about to blow out. Right. That curse does carry over if you get the throw to the next round. Ooh. Watch you out of the skies with the shadow on Riazondo. Recapture, where do you think you're going? Oh, goodness. The corner pressure. Mm -hmm. Duel doesn't want to play that game. He just leaves. Yeah. <laughs> All right, stagger. Done. All right, come on over here. Plus Hold frames. these frames. Yeah, nice jump out, though. 
We're definitely seeing the adaptation from Blind Gamer. Exactly. Oh. Nice. Oh no, not what we were looking for, but hey, we try to make it a little bit better. Yeah, Duel really, really scouts that command grab yeah, every really time. Yeah, really does. Wow, that was such an instant overhead attempt yeah. there from Duel. Scary stuff. Huh? Oh, the stinger. Yeah. The AI stinger. <laughs> that stinger will not stop going off until you hit Connor on. That means Blind Gamer is in huge trouble right yes, now. Yes, absolutely. Hold this. Oh, is he yeah. dead? No, 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 no. Oh my dead. god! <laughs> that should have been a will it kill. <laughs> I Duel's thought maybe one it. pixel yeah, left. Yeah, yeah. I don't blame you. It was so close. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what is Duel doing? <laughs> was that it? <laughs> yeah. But no, I mean, a great set between these two here, of course. Uh, Conra has always been an absolutely terrifying character to deal with. We've seen that unlock over the years of Killer Instinct, and even more so now that we've been able to explore the game over the last almost decade now. Uh, well, I mean... To be fair, Conor only came out, what, season two, right? Season two, but I would yeah. say in three, he's a marginally oh, yeah. different character. Oh, yeah. He's so different, man. And, like, he has so many new tools, including that corner stinger that you guys yes. saw there. It just keeps going off until you hit Conor. Yep. And it will curse you every time it stings you. Yes. And that means if you're already stung, the timer just resets. It that, does not yeah. stack, but it will. Like, thank God it doesn't stack. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'd be a Conor <laughs> player if that stacks. If it stacks, if it stacks you don't get to yeah. move. You just no. never have to. You're no, stuck. You you're, you're paralyzed. Everything uh, is see plus. You later. Yeah. Okay, but back up here on the deck, we do have Latalis Venator coming up against Deadly Kansas. I have not seen this name in a minute. In a while. Deadly Kansas jumping over to NRS a little bit here, playing some Dragon Ball Fighters. Yeah, he's pretty well rounded. He plays yes. kind of everything. Yeah, very intelligent player, too. Young Buck, of course, in the scene, mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, has. Gained a lot of inspiration from a certain Fulgore player. Oh, you know, yes. I'll leave that to your imagination. 100%. <laughs> 100%. He's like a Sakura to Nikki's Ryu almost. Yeah, yeah. that's very a very so. good one. Very much. Very much so. Yeah, Latalis already starting off with a strong round oh, yeah. start against Kansas. Now, this matchup is pretty good for Fulgore. Some people say that Fulgore wins. Some say that it's even. But you are dealing with somebody who has a ton of experience in this matchup. And you are about to experience going through this wall, <laughs> sir. 36 just for one wall. Jab what out. a frame trap. Yes, there. indeed. Light lockout wasn't ready for the spins. Damage ender there from Latalis, keeping this corner pressure on. Ooh. We see the instinct pop. Uh, oh, no. Whoa. Yeah. Uh -uh. He actually didn't confirm, and Kansas is able to DP, but it doesn't matter. He's going to try to slow down Fulgore's reactor as much as possible while simultaneously chunking up. Chunking up, removing instinct, slow down the reactor. That means less meter build for Fulgore here. Ooh. Yo, we spin on a rock. The teleport get does get me. to confirm. I can't believe Latell's <laughs> broke that. <laughs> All right, wall set up with Chunk. Oh, God. No, no you're escape. not going anywhere. Please sit down, sir. <laughs> oh! Yeah, we've not hit the tarmac yet. I mean, yeah, he's no, just stay seated. No, best get remain seated. <laughs> One more jump in. Yeah, I dare to anti air while I'm armored up. Like, please. Oh, and that actually nice. worked? And you get the combo? Oh, we try what to be happening? crazy. Yeah, because look, we dropped it. Want to force Latalis to commit to something. Latalis is so patient. Look, what a come back recapture. Down here. And come you're going down. through the wall. Oh. Kansas breaks it. This is like watching a horror movie oh, right no. now. All right. No, no kill yet. A little bit early. There we go. There we go. Got the chip. But and unfortunately, he, that's been the reactor you just built. Yeah, it does. That's unfortunate. I mean, he wants to keep that reactor spinning because it allows Fulgore to get pip cancels, which allows him to cancel all his special moves into each other. Yes. All right. Have to be so patient. Trying to bait some out with these oh. fake teleports. But Latalis, again, look, big, slow golem. I don't have to move anywhere. I'll take my time. Especially not with this light <laughs> yeah. lead. Dang. One chance. Very nice. The people's elbow. Yes. On the home turf, too? I know, God. unbelievable. It's tough. That's a buff for Latalis, for sure. <laughs> right, nice little decoration here. It is around springtime, so make sure you start planting your flowers now if you're visiting your garden centers. Yep. Latalis, you know, gentle giant. Yeah. Oh, well, that is unfortunate. The back dash, A-OK, -okay, but still reaching a bit too far. Walled up. Yeah, the no, wall scared. pressure here. Kansas, <laughs> Kansas, you are going to have to think real hard about your next choice. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's a good one. 
Okay. Goes for the crouch heavy punch. That's why we got the combo to start. Boom. Oh, nice back dashes from Kansas this entire set. Kansas is very teleport heavy, and yeah. he is getting stuffed because Latalis is a no nonsense player. Absolutely, he is yes, not that is the none perfect descriptor. <laughs> like, no, no, no. This is the fighting game we're playing. Oh, what a bait. He knew yeah. Kansas wanted out. Let's see him break. What a shadow blade dash from Kansas. He went right over that stomp. Yo, we roll it. That's safe on block, I yep. believe. Yep. At least we try to jab out. I think that's a great call just to confirm that, right? Oh my goodness. Oh. You're not baiting out Latalis. I don't care how many times you try to teleport yeah, or pump not fake happening. it, it's not <laughs> happening. Latalis is the kind of player who he's going to pick the safest possible options with the minimal amount of risk. Yes. Oh my god, what a Whoop. whiff, and we don't fall for that, man. Come on. That was like two seasons ago. We don't fall <laughs> for that anymore. <laughs> Well, Tal's choosing not to take the life bar to keep yeah. that up. I don't know about that. I mean, yeah, because that could have been just the haymaker oh, right there. Oh, look at these resets. And a big lockout, Kansas needs to capitalize. Look at how much health. Okay, got the spin. This is your opportunity to chunk up, slow down the reactor speed. But unfortunately, at the same time, you are building up Fulgore's instinct. You very much are. The other thing that's worth pointing out is how much damage he just took for letting Kansas live. Indeed. He no okay. longer has a life lead. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, throw reset. We can, we're good. We're good. Oh, my God. Wake up. Throw. Kansas is the wrong touch away right now from going through that wall. Oh, oh my God. That was a nice call, actually, to break away that wall. Chip. Oh, what will Latalis no do? Way. I can't believe this is, Both of these players uh, are actually close to death, <laughs> believe it oh, or not. Geez. Okay, so we got the wall behind you yep. here, no matter which yeah, side you go. Yeah, you're in trouble, you're in trouble. Shadow spin. You could be dead. It's a level four. You could be dead. Oh, oh my god. One touch, one touch. Uh-huh. DP. Just to see oh, oh, another double KO. Okay, but we learned, so in the first time that we, we saw the double, <laughs> yeah, what did we learn from this? <laughs> first time we saw a double, no one got a point, so we're going right back into it. We've extended your life. That just means you get to watch this matchup even more. Oh my Take God. notes. <laughs> nice throw. Yeah, it was a great call to go for that instant cancel at the end right there, too, because you are confirming exactly what Talos is doing. Get one more shot. And it, oh my God, that's Jeez. tough. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good flick. Uh, just a bit too far. That was a little misleading because you look like you're right in that space. Oh, nice. that actually recaptured the first hit, popped him up in the air. That's the sonic spin right there. Yeah, it wee, really wee, is. Wee, wee. The green hill zone right there. <laughs> no DP, I like it. Uh -huh. Very smart. Nice block, but we got the scoop. Oh, what Ooh. a. Who's Shadow Power is that? This guy does his homework. <laughs> You know that, the target that, combo? that target combo is called Sweep and Destroy. I just want to point that out. <laughs> Nobody that's shadow counters that. But I wouldn't be ready for it ever. But dang, that's quick. I got the beans. Look, I think we've all been put through enough hell with Fulgore and the yeah, oh to see God. that. So. Jeez. Fulgore in Season 2. He's still so good. He's still like top 5. Oh, what a Sweep and Destroy. You gotta say that as much as you possibly can, yes. you know? Sweep Not every day. In, sweep yeah. and destroy! Exactly, there it is again. Kansas opting to use that because oh. it breaks the armor. Yep. So you're effectively, you have an overhead that's a heavy and a low that's a heavy. You get the 50 50 diagonals no matter how uh -oh. many chunks he has. Oh! That was a drive impact moment right it there. It really was, it really was. <laughs> Kansas is ready for Street Fighter 6. Indeed. Look at that <laughs> reactor going out of control right now. It's going to build up a lot of pips. I'm about to go nuclear. He's going to go crazy right now. All right. I was going to say, I'm going to need to start seeing these uppercuts when he's jumping at you. Yeah, too. yeah. Unfortunately, that's a, that's that's a good time to do it. Oh, he got shimmied, but it's Agonos, baby. He got armor anyway. What you going to do? I keep flicking. Good yep. spinning. Oh. Nice, DP. There we go. There we go. Here are you. Here are you. Oh, man. I really... Yeah. What a punish on that chunk Ooh. from Kansas. Yes. Kansas should be getting up close and personal right now, trying to bully. He's just trying to find the right time. He does have an instinct to pop here. There we go. Okay, good tech. 
No DP there from Kansas. Oh! Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's actually re Oh, no, it's not! All right, a scary situation. And you know what? Kansas looking a little overloaded right now because there is no DP attempt in this corner oh. on any jump. And the recapture will kill. Good ultra. 2-0 lead from Latalis. Oh, it's 2-0. That's 2-0. It's 2-0. Put the headset back on. That's 2-0. You guys 2 just get to play more games. Play one more. Play one more. Double KO didn't count. It didn't count. <laughs> that just means you got more data on him. <laughs> exactly. Plug exactly. your controller back in. You're it's not all right. Done. Look at that immaculate Xbox Series S. They look pretty good, actually. The, and how portable they are. I like it. I, I, I'm probably going to get another. I already have a Series X. Yeah. I'm probably going to get an S for like, the other floor because, you know, I have a Game Pass. That's a which, good idea. By the way, Killer Instinct on Game Pass for a little bit there. Absolutely. KI also always on sale. Always. What, 10 bucks at this point now, anyways, always. when it's not? It always <laughs> is. Always on sale, man. Please get this game. I promise it's worth your time. Yes. Oh Ooh, my god! Round that start <laughs> overhead, check the dome! That's dumps. one way to start a match. <laughs> so wake up! Ooh, nice jump. Stomp, Stomp the yard. Stomp the yard, who Kill. cares? If you're not gonna DP me, then I will yeah. keep stomping. Oh, Latalis nice. is the kind of player that will notice. Oh, uh, what a punish! Going through the wall, possibly. Oh, We're yeah. saving the wall. We get a lot of mileage off a corner being in the middle of the screen. Exactly. Let's like, keep it you don't here. have to deal with teleport from. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the message that Kansas has sent to set. You want to play full screen and teleport? That's fine. I'll close this gap. Latalis again, leaving Kansas alive, but he's going to go for a chip here. How is this going to play out? You can't. Oh, yeah, you can't do that. The chunk definitely saved Latalis. Yes. It allowed his super to start up while his armor ate the super of Fulgor. Interesting to not go for just a build-up ender there. Oh, what a throw. That was so cool. Oh. Oh, Axis Slash. Yep, that is nice. Shadow kind of the speed to Shadow kind of Like, yes, that is the answer for that string, but it's so quick. Oh, we got the wall up. It nice. also means that if Latalis tries to create distance at any uh -huh. point, which I don't think he's going to do right now. You see the guessing game I think from you're Kansas dead. there, trying to block the high-low mix. Unfortunately, that'll do. 3-0 victory for Latalis, and now nice. he can fist bump. Now, now he can get up. You unplug your control. Yeah, you're but good. a great showing here. Latalis definitely always, ha like, very consistent at combo breaker. Having always. a strong showing here with Agados this time around. So it, it, it's no surprise. Yeah, I've noticed that Apex likes to kind of early represent a counter breaker, wants to go for big Hail Mary damage. We'll see how this shakes out. Early lockout. Now, Sadira on the lower tier Ooh. end of this game, and Rash at the tippity tippity top. But Sadira actually fights Rash decently well. She's got some good anti air tools. She right. has her own air traversal. She does well in this matchup. Yeah, which is really surprising. Like, you know, everyone has some sort of answer in a unique way, and Sadira definitely does have a toolkit, like you say, to. Counter the air mobility that Rash has with Wicked Tongue. Yes. Zenkai trying to stay out of this Ooh, corner. Yep. Not even a trade. So much invincibility on that Shadow Boot. He's going to beat Zenkai out clean and go into these instant Cossack Dance combos. Look how far that wall splatted from. Yes. <laughs> and he's dead. <laughs> I just and got he's stuck dead. thinking about, man, how strong does your core have to be to do a close time? I don't even know, man. <laughs> Oh my goodness, nice, nice catch from Zenkai. <laughs> and now if you want to talk about a scary instinct, this character oh, is yes. a top five instinct easily. So when's it my turn? Never. Oh, I don't okay, know, bro. just, yeah. <laughs> Indefinitely it's my turn. Oh, I see, I see, I see. <laughs> it's a whole web of lies. Oh my goodness, Apex with this little corner combo. Oh, he's gonna go cash boom, out, boom, no boom, reset, right, but he's gonna put himself in the corner in the process. Oh! A little bit of a scramble. Yeah, rough. Tried to escape out of the corner there with that shadow leap. Nice! What a bait there from Zenkai. Yeah, really reaching Will Apex for try it. to break this? Yeah, he course. will immediately break. I mean, it was almost do or die, right? right. Because if he didn't, then that would have been a grip. Nice boot. Gonna get a recapture. Zenkai is gonna... Nice break. <gasps> Anti-air attack here. Oh. The bike is gonna oh! keep Apex safe. <laughs> with the early lockout, the convert bike. to ultra... Okay, all right, folks, there was a little flashback going yeah, on here, but we're good. There. We are so good. I think I'm back. I can't believe Rash glitched out the entire room. Yeah, we were on the astral plane there for a second. We were not present with you guys, but we are back. We are back. Not not quite sure what happened there. Oh, man. Okay.
Let's get back into things. Apex with the tiniest life lead right now. He's going to pick up the hit. Ooh, nice throw. He was just too plus to throw. Top tier problems. Yeah, locked out. Nice flip. Jeez, Apex, they're not on the ground. It's it's Sadira. She's definitely going to be in the sky. Big damage Bull. cash out here, and Apex is going to have instinct. Yep, reversal into instinct pop. Good patience Definitely going to get the side switch. Yeah, was able to block that cross up there. Going to hold this corner and bike to keep it safe. Ooh. There's no turn for you here. Throw into the bike. Not even. We're just going to take the knockdown. This is yeah, yeah, just you, blocked. Yeah, you have to hold <laughs> just it. Yeah, especially with that instinct pop. All right, I'll get my turn in a moment. Exactly. Yeah, you could rob. Zenkai could definitely rob this health bar. You know, natural enemy of the, the toad. The yeah, spider. Of uh, so, I mean, obviously, this in nature, the spider would be winning this fight. It's like the mongoose and the viper. Exactly. Same thing. Zenkai in the lead here. Almost at about a bar. I like that combo. That was kind of hard to right, break. Exactly. Very tricky exactly. stuff. Ooh, ooh. Again, the throws every time. You got to be ready for Big this. Lockout. Sadira is not going for these tick throw setups. At least on Zenkai, you're not going to see this. But she doesn't need to. She has so much aerial pressure anyways. Exactly. Reset potential is there. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely dead. Now, Zenkai, he should have another instinct on the way because he used his instinct so early, and he'll only probably have to deal with one of Apex's, but that is still a rash instinct. That's it. Ugh. Very nice. All right, good turnaround from Zenkai there, maintaining control with that ambiguous cross-up with the jump medium kick from Sadira here to close it out. Definitely an ambiguous cross-up, but also the combo that follows up when it comes to Sadira is so ambiguous <laughs> in strength. It's hard to break because you don't know what strength yes. it is, and then she gets the cash out. Exactly. All right, so one all in the set right now. Take your turn back. Honest neutral to start. Very much so. <laughs> when, you, when your foot becomes an axe, that's how you know that you're playing an honest game. That's the honest stuff there. Super <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where'd that axe come from? Don't yeah. worry about it. Bro. Don't worry about it. That was a huge punish on that attempted counter breaker, standing heavy into the yeah. shadow. You already used your wall splat. Thrash memory. We got Zenkai about to pop his instinct here. Anti air, great. Let's get a little bit. Oh, trying to that recap web is there. that web. Yeah. Watch your, watch it going. Ooh, what are you reaching for? Those are kunai. You can't catch this. Oh Dang! goodness. We're gonna get a cash out into another mix up. Oh, that, that was good. That was sick. That was sick. Shout out to Calypso. <laughs> That's a Calypso <laughs> thing to do right there. All right, gotta call on the help. I need assistance. Please bring the car around. Zenkai did not attempt to break that. Oh, uh, uh, ugly try. trade. Yeah, wanted... what an anti-air from Zenkai. Yeah, that shadow spin was really smart. Wanted to get the uh, projectile and vulnerability. Oh, but the... oh my god, this guy. Yes, good anti-air from Zenkai anti -air. all around. All right, crossed up. Get as much damage as we can on this. Heavy lock, I'll definitely spend it. Probably gonna hold the meter for cash. Oh, we cash? Okay. I'm gonna get a setup off it and back into the corner. We zoom it. Okay. Oh, yep, the same That's fine. That Nothing is wrong fine. With that. What's the life lead you got? <laughs> Dang. We out and not falling for that one twice. Apex going for the neutral medium jump. What kind of mix ups are we doing here? We don't we're not worried about those overheads. Oh. What, a little bag? No, I'm just, I'm just being an instigator. It's definitely not bag. <laughs> no, it's definitely bad manners. Yeah, yeah. This is really rude. This guy's a thief. <laughs> Apex needs to be wary of this instinct. Yes. He really does. And look, Apex is still just a couple hits away from getting an instinct of his own. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, let's see. Spinning, nothing doing. And time is a ticket on this. Apex could just kind of oh. lane this out. And I don't blame him. Yeah, no, he's playing it smart. Most of this instinct timer has already run out. There's only going to be so much that Zenkai can do from here. Yep, escape danger yeah, with we'll the protectile and vulnerability. Yep. Very smart. Oh. Nice tag. See, there we go. Oh, no, that could have been into Ultra. Oh, what an anti-air again from Zenkai. <laughs> that has been the hallmark of his gameplay yes. in this match, man. Is he? This is a no-fly zone for Rash. Crazy! The individual that controls the skies. Look, the spider sets up the web, catches the toad. Yeah, he wants you to jump. Get off me! Nice throw, tech. Zenkai playing very, very solid here. Nice. Plus frames there. He's just blocking. Yeah. Gets caught low. 
low medium kick it is so scary too especially the stagger pressure oh boom nice pick up with for the crouch real. light kick too gonna go for the battle maniacs recapture oh, oh now it's time for the overhead take them out of the oven it's time you gotta season them with the lows first. Dude. Oh, I see, I see. You gotta give them the lows first, and then you hit them with the overhead. Okay. Apex okay. was going for that overhead so many times, and it just was not working out. And then in this last game here, he sets it up. Back to back anti air attempts here from Zenkai. The second confirms, but Apex still moving, got that recap and damage carry through the corner. Dang, no way. I got your tech. Things are kind of slowing down for Zenkai here, rather than trying to maintain that control. Playing at a slower... Okay! Wait a minute uh -oh. now. Tricky stuff. Nice and break from Apex. Yeah, but the web. Set up the trap. No break here. All right! Oh, wow, there it is! Wow, the medium auto double. I love breaking those, too. <laughs> They're my favorite thing to break. Nice kick. Goes for the recapture. Good pickup, but light break. Quick stuff here from Zenkai. Oh, that bike, man. Cheap. It's a trap all along. Not gonna get an instinct. This is chip territory. Never mind. <laughs> Saw that bike, it just went by. He's like, I don't even need this. Oh, so what's the, oh no, no, no. Are you over here? Doesn't get a free ride. Sorry. Yeah. Looks like your lift expired. So this is 2-2. Two, two. This is just 2-2 two, two sitting here. <laughs> yes. I would tell you right now, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. If most people looked at these two players on the stage and they said, who do you like? They would say that Apex would go with this yeah, one. Absolutely. Zenkai, in my opinion, is kind of an underdog in this match, but I do think that he could totally beat Apex. Yes. If, I mean, we're, we're at 2-2, two, two, he totally can beat him. What Ooh. a catch on the Heavy Widow's bike. Yeah, Apex I I loves those heavy autos. Nice, yeah. Start taking note, folks, because we're eventually, we haven't seen a single counter breaker Yeah, we really all. have not. <laughs> Nice. Both these players playing so careful throughout this match. Yeah. Even though Rash is doing the wrecking ball and saying, woo, I assure you he's being careful. <laughs> yeah. Woo as in like, oh yeah. god, I didn't get bothered. Exactly, by it. <laughs> exactly. Oh, oh, interesting interact. Yo, that cart went to the sky. Oh my god, that covered both sides. Oh, the pressure in the corner mm -hmm. here from Zenkai. I like this. I love that he didn't really overcommit to anything in that situation. Exactly. He kind of just let Apex get hit there. Yeah, a flurry of buttons here, trying to bait anything out, trying to trap. Damage nice ender, down. gonna get a knockdown. We got throw. All right, throw nice, again. another one here, time again. Throw him again. Yeah. Yeah. Throw him again. Overhead. Ooh. Yeah, no. An early lockout Apex can turn See. this around and get the kill. Yeah, you have to level three. No break, but end it with heavy. Ow! Oh. Good old backdash web, as my friend oh, Hearn would say. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, last round of the set here. These two, yep, of course, we haven't seen that yet. Wicked Tongue will eat projectiles. We have to be so careful. Zenkai is like, you can come over here, dog. Yeah. Yeah, I got all the health. Yeah. Come on. We got 60 seconds, I'm good. Oh, Apex making Whoop! his way in. Whoop! Yeah, I'm out of here. Get off of me. The dance. Okay. Nice pick up the heavy, gonna carry for this corner position. Left, right, oh, left. empty oh! jump throw. Nice. Oh, oh is there another throw, throw again? Butters. Okay. What are we gonna see here? The cash out? Yeah. Is this gonna kill? No. Not man. enough. Apex got two bars and instinct. Oh my god, oh my god. Nightmare scenario yes, here. Yes, absolutely. Good paces, but got caught oh. by the cart. Robbery in progress. All right, throw. It's happening. No meter for Zenkai. There's oh the overhead. Oh my god. Stagger recapture. Has two bars Will still. Zenkai try to break anything here? Zenkai, oh my goodness. Your defense goes for the oh. reverse. Oh, Zenkai! What a scenario here. And especially to Apex had the meter to spend. No break at all. Zenkai's patience paid off. Earned himself the W here in this set. In a near impossible set. Considering wow, the characters on the dude. screen. And like I said, in that situation, like... You have such a life lead, but you look at that character with two bars and instinct, and you still don't feel comfortable. <laughs> You're not comfortable, even with a life lead. It's terrifying. Oh, my goodness. Man. That was a fun set, too. A it really was. fun set. That You're was... talking about, like, one of the top-tier characters versus one of the lowest-tier characters, and that goes to show the experience that these players have in this game that no matter what, everybody has a, a shot. It, they do, and I think a lot of the game's mechanics lend to that, but I also think that nobody in KI is, like, too weak. 
Right. It's to the point where like they might have more bad matchups than other characters, but that does not mean that they lose to the top tiers. Exactly. That does not mean that exactly. they lose to the top tiers, and that does not mean that they're without hope. So, well, because what, that character Sadira is like lower tier, like by a lot of people's opinion. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what we used to say was like, oh, you're just the worst of the best. Like that's seriously, all it is. like <laughs> I, if I have to fight a Conran turner, I'm scared. Yeah. This is Conran, he's a scary <laughs> character, right? But he could be considered one of the lower tiers as well. Yeah. Scary characters all around in this game. Yes, absolutely. So it does look like we have Latina is coming back up here. This is to get into the winner's finals of pools, I believe, for their block. Just double checking on that. Apex does uh, sit uh, out on the loser side here, but that does mean Zenkai will be in the winner's finals section of uh, pool A. Uh, 146. Okay. Let's see. 136, though, is the pool that uh, Latalis is in right now. Uh, we'll be at... Winners finals. Uh, not sure if this is Roman or Extreme Zombie. Oh, this has got to be Extreme Zombie with that Aria. Oh, yep, there we yeah, go. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. It's Extreme Zombie. Also, Roman has a tendency. He, he was wearing cat ears earlier, <laughs> so that's a that's a pretty good indicator. Okay. Now, Extreme Zombie. He's kind of like a little unsung player. He's very strong. He's a really, really strong player. You just don't ever see him with tournament presence. And if you need any more proof, this is the winner side of this pool. Yes. Sitting against Letalis and Venator. All right. We'll oh, oh my God! <laughs> what? He just Superman punched the knee? Help! <laughs> I've never seen that, dude. Latalis is wide awake. Damn. Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't know about that one. I'm feeling real good after that first haymaker. <laughs> Maybe I'll get another one in. Pop the overhead with the oh, assist. Oh, what is these resets here from Extreme Zombie? We got the assist game going on with the instinct pop. Get Damn. off me! I'm not guessing. <laughs> Anti-air assist. This is the most aggressive I've got. It uh, is. It's belligerent. <laughs> Look how... Dude. Throw. Gonna chunk up. Extreme zombie yeah. trying to run in. That's hard to break on the, on the explosive kicks. That's just so hard to guess there. Side switch. You're not gonna be able to chunk up, but you're gonna get the pressure. Stop. Nice. This anti-air assist, man. Extreme Zombie knows that Latalis loves to go for those, like, I'm going to say, quote-unquote, instant overheads, and is just calling that anti-air assist all yeah. day long. Nice. Timer lockout here. Extreme Zombie taking off the health bar. And honestly, they're about to even here considering uh, the life deficit that Extreme Zombie is at. About to get worse. Okay, wait a minute. No cash out available there in this particular body. Mm. Nice throw. Oh. Oh. oh, and that's going to be Block Punish with face. Oh, he caught the back dash. That was a big call up from Latalis, and we're going to armor up again. We only got Blade Body left for Extreme Zombie, but he is also on the verge of Instinct, which means that he's going to have assists with a 50-50 body if Latalis Ooh. doesn't wrap this up here. There we go. Big that's going to take that first chunk away. Oh, we don't care about none of that. Jeez, and that should be I it don't here. Care. You're going through the wall. Hey, forward dash yeah. with Agonos. <laughs> Who does that? I mean, I get why he did it, though. Because if you make any kind of motion, you're showing the player that you're moving and you're baiting a lockout. Mm -hmm. Now, none of that stuff is breakable, but when it comes down to it, um, if you try to put anything there close to the wall, it is possible for you to break it. Right, absolutely. So it was a nice bait there from Latanos. It's a good call here and again. The wall set up. Troublesome situation. Tried to interrupt with the blade. It does get it, but doesn't get away without getting caught. Nice knockdown. Staying chunked up is the name of the game here. Dang, yeah, that tried. assist call super hard to punish. Nice little side switch mix up here from Extreme Zombie. Just trying to run the same game plan. He's keeping it very safe, calling his anti-air assist. He already has the chunks chipped off. He's just going to move to the corner here. Whoa. The anti-air assist again. Yep. It's doing all of it. Excellent game wow. plan there. Wake up. Go for the spins. The heavy lockout. RIP to booster body. But we're getting into the phase where we have base assist, blade body, two bars, and instinct. <laughs> Dude, Latalis. All right, the spin shut down the DP even, too. Not sure of audible reversal, but... This man's raw Superman punch ratio right now is 100%. <laughs> Firing on all cylinders. That's the thing is, Latalis does not have to respect half the players he comes up against. No, absolutely not. Damn. Look at that stomp. Yep. Oh, all my right, God. I'm coming down. for you. Nice. You better shadow counter. Yep. 
Had the jump, so we'll have to immediately cancel the instinct. Nice lockout, but nothing following after. There's no mix-ups here. Yeah. There's no mix-ups. None. None at all. It's block low. Ooh. Get off of me. Get off of me. Let's throw a whole bat at that beat. Somebody <laughs> knows this matchup. <laughs> I feel like Latalis has probably played this game before. Yeah, I think Just he might have. It's possible. Yeah. Maybe against like the computer or something. Right, I don't know. right. You I don't know. know. I've never <laughs> seen him just throw out raw Superman punch and beat shotgun me before. I've never seen that. Stop, stop. Follow you. Okay, wow. He's able to tech out. Nice, sneaky stuff. But unfortunately, going to get shut down here. That was armor, heavy punch. Oh my goodness, what a throw tech. Well, we trying to float. We're going to see a recapture. Latalis could have held that. That's the word. Yeah, could have caught it. He'll come down eventually. All right, old oh, body swap, risky business, but there wasn't a rocket for you, so you're A-OK, -okay. nice pick up with the beams. Not a grip of damage, but enough to oh. send a message. No cash out available in this body. Like I said, the perk is having the anti-air assist on deck. This is not going to do a ton of damage. Yep, not going to be able to kill. Right. That's cheap. Why did she do that? <laughs> Just the, the, the throw, throw tech assist. and then the assist came yeah. up and made him plus. That's so cheap. Ugh. All right, another throw has the... You did and that? We are reaching. Wow. We are reaching. I like the attempt. The health bar was almost gone. Yeah. It was a good time to take a risk like that. Okay. Oh, the throw, but unfortunately going to get stuffed by the beam. Extreme Zombie is doing a much better job at shutting down a lot of these options that Letalis is going for right. now. But he still has his back against the wall quite literally. Flip early lockout Big here. chunk up here for Letalis. Oh, okay. He just wants the one. That's fine. Okay. I'll take that too. We've been seeing like a lot of this uh, throughout the bracket. Latos has only chunked up one time. Yeah. And there's... it's not off of Enders ever. Yep. Some matchups you only want the one or the two. Sometimes three or four is like actually detrimental. True. And now we got walls coming up against Extreme Zombie. Yep. That could be oh, a dead no. body if you don't play your cards right. You better be uh, careful. <laughs> shut down the armor. Nice that was approach. insane. That's so scary. You're playing with fire on the <laughs> Now I'm wondering, are those walls still up behind Extreme Zombie? Oh, oh they must matter. be if he's swinging like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more knockdown is what we need then. Right, and that will remove the walls here. Oh, oh no, going for the flip out, so still got wall up. Or oh, should. Oh my goodness. Not looking good for Letalis here. here Empty go. jump low to close it out. Extreme Zombie is on the board. That's a tall order for Arya, too. Like, to deal with Agonos, like, the, just the damage differential between these two it characters. Is, like, yes, yeah, like, Arya can put on layers upon layers. Your mental stack is kind of overloaded, especially with how many assists that come through. Agonos, as we saw, just needs you one also, good hit. You also have to take into account that Arya is the only character in this game that loses tools as the game true, goes on. True, true. She loses tools once the bodies die. That's nice like, oh, hey, oh, okay. Air, please, sir. The full mortar strike? All right. Oh nice. my goodness. Scoop. Forward throw, chunk up. Throw that. Dang. Thank you. I like that. I like that a lot. You're trying to bait out extreme zombies, you're trying to challenge or just jump in. Oh, get out of the air, sir. That air chunk is serving Letalis very, very well. Yes. Oh my no, god. That will not get work. crushed. Over the shotgun knee. All right. Extreme Zombie just wants to get some blocks done into Instinct to try to get the party started here. Right, nice, but no confirm. Again, no confirm. Trying to reset the assist. Coming in too late. DP. Latalis has no chunks right now. Oh, no. Oh, forward throw, free chunk. Stomp. Oh, he mistimed his meaty. Good luck. Get off. All right, full screen situation here. Oh, that breadstick is not going to work when I'm swinging this anti-air assist, sir. <laughs> Stay off. Nice. throw attempts. Letalis is still jumping. Yeah, I don't care. I kind of like that he doesn't care. It's kind of I mean, godlike. Yeah, just... I mean, the health is just another resource for <laughs> yeah. Agnos here at that point. You're <laughs> dealing with a really scary player that plays a big body and knows how to use their health as a resource. Exactly. Scary, scary stuff. All right, good throw. And look at the massive lifely Letalis has. I mean, Extreme Zombies, one touch on both bodies oh. that are left here. Oh, no! That's a hard one to uh -oh. shadow counter, too. Oh, and oh, he reset no! there. That was actually reset. Yeah. If he dumps the bar, he could kill him. 
Oh, oh my God. God. Well done. And just being annoying in that corner, right? Just chipping away, going off stray hits. I'll reset into reset. Extreme Zombie is starting to scout the disrespect from Letalis. He's mm -hmm. starting to scout the unruliness of like, I'm still going to jump. Right. I'm still going to mash. He went for the reset. He locked out. He said, I got two bars. You're done. Yes. That was right. a game ending mistake. And now this is a game five. Oh, nice whip punish here. Heavy lockout. We're all right. Going to set up the assist. Oh, he went low. Extreme Zombie is starting to cook here. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Yo, we are definitely oh cooking. Oh, my Yo! God. Lock and this is out. another lockout. This is going to be death. Yeah, it's such a situation for Latalis here because, again, that overload of just, look, there's a lot going on. You have to go low. Oh, there's no invincibility yeah. on that super whatsoever. It only anti airs. This is looking real scary. No ability, no Dude. opportunity to armor up here for Latalis. We finally got one chunk there. Uh-oh. This is an unbreakable. He could put a wall up if he chooses to. Yeah, wants yes. to catch up. Wants to at least try to remove a body here. Yeah, you gotta oh. start. You gotta make something happen here. That was a good tag nice. out, but unfortunately gonna get scooped up in this corner. It was so smart that Extreme Zombie decided to save that body. He's also sitting on his first instinct. Yeah. Nice. There we go. Kind of mix that we're gonna Ooh. see here. Yeah. Get off of me. Oh no, the wall. Forward throw, chunk up again. Pressure. Nice, anti air. Oh no. All right. Oh, Finally got rid of some armor there, so now some of your shadow cons oh, can work. Oh god, he could not convert off of that flick. Yeah. Oh, That's a yeah, huge yeah, punish. punish. He's gonna Big get one. a chance to chunk up here. One, two. He's that's gonna it, go for it, three chunks. It. He's gonna keep that wall up. Yep, that, absolutely. Uh oh. Two walls. Uh -oh. All right, one body goes down on a confirm. Guaranteed. Oh my god, Extreme Zombie needs to be very careful what? here. All right, jump heavy. And a great decision to oh for the opposite god. side. Oh my god. Well done from Extreme Zombie. That last interaction was so smart because. You're, opt you're putting yourself in a position where you're only at the corner. You don't have to worry about the extra wall damage being blasted through. Saving a body in case you made a mistake. So it was a long-term game plan there from Zombie. It's very, very smart. And you know, the thing about Aria players is they always played like this. They always played booster body, booster body dies. I got blade. I have the base in the back. Mm -hmm. That's the assist body that right. comes out with the beam. It's very good away for uh, taking the chunks away from Agonos and cutting exactly. through armor. But now, in this more this newer meta, you're starting to see the Aria players switch bodies for matchups when it's smarter for them. So you saw yeah. that for most of the time that Extreme Zombie played that match, he actually ran the anti-air assist. Yes. He yeah. ran that anti-air assist and he ran it on the blade. He just ran base. Yep. Zone, throw the anti-air assist, stop all of these oppressive air normals from Agano. So you're really seeing somebody who's playing the matchup, yes. which I really like to see. Some people get a really strong game plan they run it the whole time. They run it everywhere. Yep, you have to force me to play outside of that gameplay. You have to prove to me you're going to beat layer one before I even change up to another layer here. And he adjusted so well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It was such a good adjustment. So up next, I do believe we have another one trying to qualify on a pool. Duel is coming out here, at least to get into the top 24. OK. Uh, so we do have Duel on deck right now, playing that patented con Rob. Is this, this is. Who is up right now Zenkai. with Duel? This is Zenkai, okay. Zenkai, excuse me, Zenkai. I wanted to be sure. Yes. I wanted to yes, be sure. I saw Zenkai coming up earlier as well. This is another very interesting matchup. <laughs> this is Conra and Sadira. This was more of, in my opinion, more of like a staple matchup in Season 2. Both of these characters were much stronger in Season 2. Mm -hmm. I know that Conrad's the one that people talk about more so, but Sadira was very cheap in Season 2, I'm sure you remember. Yes. Very cheap character. <laughs> Even after they nerfed her, she had unbreakables. Yeah, she was yeah. very, very scary. She still poses a major threat. I think her biggest threat is is the instinct, man. Yeah. The instinct is a problem. I think what you're going to be seeing here from Duel is you're going to try to see him launch himself into the air and put scarabs up in high places. You want to yeah. be able to bait her into trying to traverse those things. She's going to be trying to probably take the scarabs down with a Widow's Bite, which is her kunai. Yes. Yeah, you know, especially too, you're trying to set up that backup plan. You're just trying to play another turn ahead in case things don't work out the way that you initially yes. thought, especially with a character like Khan Ra, trying to get that escape. So we'll see how this set goes through. Yes. So we saw that last time, Duel likes the intro. Yeah, he definitely does. So 
Zinkai also likes the intro. We'll see how this plays out. I'm very interested in seeing. I'm like that we're letting the intros rock. See, there's those scarabs up. Oh, he went for a command grab. That yes. could have been punished by yes. Zenkai. Very scary stuff. All right, windmill. Nice blocks here from Zenkai. Duel trying to get up and put those scarabs up there. Yep, and uh, immediately. I like that, right? You're trying to use. Yeah. Get rid of the scarabs here so you can get that aerial mobility going. And he's going to have to be watching the air command nice. grab when he tries to use that kunai as well. Exactly. Knockdown going to take a little bit of damage here. Throw attempt. You're going to get cursed. Woo! I love that command grab. Very gutsy stuff. And there's a lot of potential damage sitting on Zenkai. Duel could cash out for a lot here. Going to go with the wall splat. Stinger, you're in trouble. Nice. Yep, the Stinger, no escape there. Yeah. Trying to challenge. I mean, good attempt, but that Stinger makes it so difficult. See, Zenkai does have his instinct, but he's cursed right now. And he's really just going to, unfortunately, it's in his best interest to wait this out. It is unfortunate, but you got to wait out that curse, and now he will start yes. to move again. Yeah, th that's the... When you're caught in that corner, you have to think about that Stinger, and you wait it out, try to make that jump in, but of course you're giving time. That's why it's so important for Duel to set up those Scarabs in the mid-screen and make it a nightmare scenario, because the focus then is for Zenkai to destroy the Scarabs. Oh. Duel's playing very defensively here. He just wants to vacate that area altogether. He's going to leave the sand pits out. When he decides that he's going to go in and, oh my god, what a command grab. When he decides that he's going to leave that sand pit out and he does his reversal, that's actually where Conra yeah. spawns. <laughs> yeah. So it's possible that you might not get a punish on his reversal. Uh, that's a tough. Good grip. All right, a couple more scared scenarios here. And Zenkai doing a great job until you jump on that one. But for the most part, doing great. Snipes it out. He finally finds his way in. Yeah. We're going to see if it's too little too late, though. And had to extend the aerial time right there by throwing Eric Kunai. Fortunately, was able to land and get the side swap punished here. Zenkai needs one more touch. Let's get it. There we go. The chip. Keep okay. it simple. I want to see this instinct popped early from Zenkai. There we go. Very, very smart. Has Put to. this pressure on. This is your time. Wait, there's the explosion. Full screen situation allowing Duel to run away. Set up Scarabs. There's your Stinger, oh your Curse. Oh, my no, God. No, actually, wait a minute. What's that? Let's jump out. Oh, oh, my goodness, man. Duel was so evasive in that match, and that's exactly what he needed to be. Exactly. This character is so hard to deal with if you don't take the life lead early. Yeah. I don't care what the matchup is. If you don't take the life lead from this character, he just he kind of helps you dig yourself deeper and deeper and yep, deeper. Yeah, yeah. That's another one of those kind of pseudo situations, like uh, with Agnos using that life as a resource. Kind of the same thing. Eventually, you have a little timer outside of just the regular fight time using your health as a resource to try to gain exactly. the opportunity, to gain the advantageous position to get that damage. Exactly. We're going to see what kind of adjustments Zenkai can make. That's a good adjustment for starters, is walking right up. Yep. I think that he should get right up in Duel's grill and just not let him set up shot. Yep. Oh, had to be careful there. Get rid of these Scarabs. Yep. Jumping Look heavy kick is nice. a great tool. And as we're going to start to see that, we're going to start to see Duel scouting those buttons out. He's going to be looking to see you hit his Scarab, and he's going to be trying to hit you for doing it. Yeah, very great navigation for Zenkai, but again, you're caught occupied trying to shut down Scarabs, and Duel is aware it takes advantage of it for the first significant combo. Oh, nice. that might have been a misinput there from Duel, I'm not sure. Yeah. Damage. Side switch. Yeah. Keeping Duel in the corner here. Ooh, caught <laughs> sleeping at the wheel right there. Hold on now. Conrad said, ah! <laughs> he hits him right in the mouth. <laughs> I like that. Oh, uh, he left. That is some low invulnerability on it, that super jump. Yeah. Plus frames here. Ooh, the low. Going for the stinger. Yep, no the stinger nonsense. Cursed. You're in big trouble here. Oh my god, you're cursed forever. The potential yeah. damage building up. What do you do? Yeah. You gotta hope for a way out, but that stinger is the homie beyond all homies. Finds. A reversal to get out at the very least. Right, nice oh. low. He just low profile yeah. the scare, but it's crouching light. Very nice. Nice scoop. Wasn't a, wasn't ready for it this time around. Alright, hold this. Another set of scarabs. Oh my Hot god, jumping. man. Yeah. Alright. Really throwing it out there just because we had the instinct to back you up. So that's okay. A little bit of damage on the teleport. Shut it down. 
Duel going for that heavy auto double there because he knows that Zenkai is likely to guess break in that situation. I mean, you got no help left. Yeah. So it's more likely that the person's going to try to guess break. All right. And look, Duel doesn't need to move at all. There's a web right in front of you here. Why bother? I can set up the Scarabs and Ooh. make it a nightmare for you. Corner position for Duel. We got another solid setup opportunity. Command grab. We're going to see the pit again. Yes, sir. Pit in the corner. That's going to curse, and that that's just going to keep on stinging. It's not going to stop. Oh, Zenkai has to find his way out here. He yeah. just built the bar, Let's and he doesn't care. Duel out here, grab. spreading the stanky breath right in Zenkai's face. Get scooped. The stinger curse is still there. Oh! What a shadow counter. Yeah. Is this going to be it? Yeah, yeah. that'll be it. Damn agender. 2-0 lead right now for Duel. Someone get Duel a Bretman out here. As often as you're breathing on Zenkai in this corner, come on now. You know it's a problem when it's plus, dude. <laughs> come on. That's that's the issue. <laughs> that blue one. Okay. Taking a moment here. And jumps right back in. Yeah, I oh. like the aggression at round start. Caught the punish. Nice heavy break. The raw air command grab is such a commitment. Yeah. Because if you don't hit it, man, like it leaves you wide open. Especially the reach for the heavy roundhouse to start there on that combo from du or excuse, from Zenkai on Sadira. Whoa. Oh, oh my, my god. god, he went for it again. I like that. We got an ant lion recapture. Jeez. What a throw. Yep, it's tough. Caught thinking about something else there. Tries to escape, does succeed. Very, very plus, especially with curse. Command grab. My man Duel knows where to put these command grabs, yeah, bro. Yeah, exactly. He's got a pretty high success oh, rate on him. What low. is this, dude? What is that? No escape. It's the win condition. Look, you very, don't very put scary. yourself in the situation. You just set the done, but it could be more true in this matchup. Senkai going to try to put this pressure on. That stinger's still going. Yeah. Oh, my God, man. I mean, that's the thing. It's like Duel did not have to open up at all don't in that corner because that stinger was there to set things up. Nice. Shadow flip, get to, able to get out. Throw with more curse. Oh my goodness, man. The potential damage is like instant level four if he gets a touch. Yeah. If he gets a touch on Zenkai that leads to a combo, he's going to cash it out. And it's going to be Antlion, and it's going to be a wrap. That's it right there. Oh my god. The damage and That's the it. game 3-0. Duel moves on to top 24 winner side here at Combo Breaker 2023. Very nice it. match. It was tough. It's tough to try to make adjustments like that. That yeah. character is very oppressive. Yeah, absolutely. I just, I mean, what do you do, right? Especially when you're cursed up like that with a character that needs to be in the air. That does gain the most advantage out of the air usually. But then you're cursed. You're slowed down. You're caught in this corner. You don't have a true reversal. The stinger going off. The yeah. scarabs going off. It's yeah. just plus frames on plus frames on plus frames. And the thing about the curse, too, is it doesn't just slow you down, but it makes moves punishable that you're doing that aren't punishable. Yeah. It yeah. makes new things punishable. So it just it really makes it tough for you to get things back. Yeah. Conra, you know, it takes a little bit to set up, but I think that was like a perfect storm uh, matchup right there for Conra. Like, look, I had the opportunity to set up these scarabs, and Zenkai did a tremendous job navigating the scarab he setup did. on the field. It's just the chase down. It makes it that much harder. Like, you're trying to lock down a, car a player who knows that, hey, I can just play the distance game. There's not much you can do about it. The scary thing about Duel is he just knows when that steamroll starts, man. He knows yeah. when it has started, and he knows when to press his advantage, man. Yeah. He's very, very experienced in doing that. Oh, yeah. I mean, in conversations with Duel, he's so calculated in how he thinks about the game. And he asks for advice from amongst the community and oh, also yeah. theory fights as well quite often. So, like... Whether or not he's been in that position physically, he's definitely thought about it before. Well, here we go. We got our loser side sets. We definitely got Roman. I know that this is Roman. Yeah. <laughs> you got Roman in the course. Uh, I believe this is uh, um, disgusting, right? We call it disgusting is now the, the tag, right? Really? Or, or it was Dingus. It was Dingus, right? But it okay. was like uh, the, 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 the name on uh, the screen was Dingus. <laughs> We're back on Dingus? Okay. All right. All right. I like it. I like it. I appreciate it. It don't so sense. Dingus, if you guys were here earlier, or if you're just joining us now, was an idol player that we had going up against Julio. Yeah. Was able to take that 3-0 over Julio. Yes. And now he's going up against Roman, playing Saber Wolf. Roman is a wolf loyalist. He's very, very loyal to his character. He yeah. plays his character all the time. He plays him in Ooh. all different kinds of matchups. Very well versed. All right. 
Tries to go for the swing, and I like this distance game here. You know, that Dingus is playing, but gonna get scooped up. It's tough to keep Saber Wolf out. Ooh! Ooh punish the shadow counter attempt into just the knockdown. We're gonna keep it real simple. Full charge. Okay, so, last shot here. Oh my goodness! Nice Done. side switch. Yep. You're in trouble now. Good call. Hold this corner. You got the temper tantrum activated. Oh, oh. an attempted shadow Yo. counter there. Returns the favor. Well, Roman pop yeah. instinct here. He's going to wait to try to get some blocks done going first. Yeah. We shall see. Another oh, my God. Throw. Another throw. One more touch is all that we need there. Wake Jackson up. Out. Buttons, I approve. I mean, at this point, you're at the right range. Goes for the feral cancel. One more touch Very of battle. Oh, oh, what, 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 what? He actually what? lived. I was surprised by that. Oh, no. That's a tragedy and a half. Roman losing out on instinct going into the next round here. I mean, if he would have went heavy, that would have been too much startup, I feel like, to oh, even yeah. get that kill. So medium had to be the choice. Oh, nice There's throw bro. there. This is a very abusable body right here because this particular head does not have a reversal without shadow meter. The exactly. other shadow, the other reversal it has is a teleport that's very easy to bait. Okay, tries to clap. Got the instinct boom, pop, boom. temper tantrum activated one more time here, but we go for the shadow. Berserker not going to get him punished. Plus frames, though. Yeah, Dingus true. did a challenge. If I had a DP with a meteor coming out, I wouldn't let that rip. <laughs> I'm just saying. So that's why I'm down here, like I said. Oh, jeez. Nice break. Oh. The dance oh, begins. Nice shimmy wimmy attempt right there, but nice tag still from Roman. Ready for it. Smelled in a mile away. It's the, it's the canine nose. Ooh. What did it? Nice punish on the overhead. Roman just needs the one hit in the ultra. All right, but you got to get out of the corner here. Ooh. Oh my god, wake up forward dash. That's a brave dash right there. All right, distance game. We're in warrior stance, so you don't have to worry about getting something oh, about. Oh my goodness. No. This is not going to kill. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, well. You got an instinct wolf to deal with right now. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, scary, scary stuff. Feral yeah. Cancel allows Wolf to just cancel basically anything. Exactly. Can you give me a look? <laughs> <laughs> Dingus, come here. Oh, we're getting advice. Okay. Quick little chat. Fireside chat here. All right. So hey, man, shouldn't you be coaching the guy with the cow? Yeah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Dingus just won. No, yeah. I'm, I'm, excuse me, excuse me. No, I'm just saying, like, if you got the Roman ears on your head, you should be coaching the dude. That's like, yeah. that seems kind of traitorous. Yeah, that's it does right. seem like, what are you doing? Yeah. Unbelievable. Dingus getting quick tips out here, trying to run the idol. All right, still. So this is the loser's finals here of this pool. The winner of this will advance to loser's top 24. The other one just uh, does not receive a burrito. Oh, man. Yeah, so you don't get to eat. The stakes have never been higher, honestly. I mean, if you're getting a steak burrito, yeah. It's <laughs> if you told me burrito. that I was going to get a burrito, I'd be focused. <laughs> really, that was everybody, especially grinding out here. But we're caught in this corner one more time. <laughs> Ding is trying to lock down Saber Wolf. Ooh. Max range. Good stuff. Oh. Ooh. DP? Oh, no. I wonder what he tried to go for there. Maybe he was trying to interrupt. He's trying to interrupt with something that would have given him a yeah. combo, probably. Oh, oh. Nice warrior nice. cancel to get the cross, but no confirm. Got the scoops. Jeez. Yeah, it's such a scary range to play against Idol. We saw the, the potential, right? Crouch medium reaches so far. Slide through. These are lights. Nice throw. Yeah, we're going to back off a little bit. That instinct is scary to deal with. That's scary stuff. Try to wake up into mage stance, and you thought that was the opportunity to close the gap. Think again. We're gonna see a meteor set up here, no doubt. Yes. Oh, this is just gonna get the juggle. Boom. Okay. Good call out on the medium break. Jab it up with no confirm. Gotta reset though with the instant cancel. Bop. Boom, boom. Oh, that didn't kill. Oh, trying to get with the leg kick though. Barrel cancel allows Roman to block. Nice. Oh, what a sweep. Back throw. Top. Top. All right, still about even Stevens here. <laughs> Jumping light kick. I like that. Very underutilized there, normal. 
Oh, got the slot just in the nick of time, too. Oh, nice block on the overhead, but he covers the punishable Whoa. frames with a shadow. Yeah. Oh, this time we can punish. Time. You have no. Well, you did have meter. Yeah, but... he had the bar. Alright. Plus frames, throw. Scouting this instinct. Oh, we don't care. We don't care. Get mixed. Get mixed. It's the smooth. Oh, the confirm. overhead again. Can Roman close this out? Not even. Roman sh should have been oh. able to. There we go. There we go. Got the ultra. That overpower move, that almost like pop yeah, looking yeah. move that Wolf has, it has so many cancelable frame windows. Like the window is so long after, yeah. it's one of the easiest things to confirm. Especially too, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but like the longer you charge, the more plus it is, right? Very so, much so, yeah. until it's unblockable. Yeah, that's right, that's it, right. It becomes that's unblockable right. at a certain point. So, all right. Dingus really thinking about the interaction here, folks. He's getting down to the wire. Oh my god, yeah. Ford Heavy Punch. I think Roman was trying to throw tech there. Nice. <laughs> Get off, bro. <laughs> this is down up. Yeah, I Where know. are you going? That Eclipse was amazing. Okay. Plus frames. Gonna get him the oh, head switch here. Good jump out from the overpower. Right, oh, the very unsafe. That's not really a lockout, so we can kind of play around a little bit. Got a warrior pit for that teleport. Roman's gonna have to block. Ooh, good he's still blocks. able to cover their approach. No one's there. It's an after image you're trying to throw. Oh, we're head switching again. Really? Slide again. This time has the instinct to back it up, though. Off the wall. Ooh! That was an amazing punish on that telestrike. What was that? Mm, <laughs> Should have committed right there. You had the opportunity. Shadow, you got to hold this. Wow. So you back that. <laughs> you did the head punch in the middle. Boom. The lightning, right. look at oh this my chip, God. man. The chip damage is yeah. so much on that instinct. All right, heads down. This is what it's going to be. Nice throw. And it's this is exactly how the set has been going each and every oh. round. Roman able to pick it back. They'll confirm Dingus out here trying to make things happen. Oh. But the stagger pressure. Roman got the lockout. Now we're going to see some corner pressure here getting the throw. Jeez, oh no! Shadow coming on that ragged edge. I'm getting, uh, I'm getting mad. Leo vibes from the way that Roman is playing yeah. right now. <laughs> all right, good block, but still, all right, nice. Trying to jab out. Didn't have your confirm ready. Good block, scooped that up. Overhead. Has resources and the clap to get the victory. Three zero. Oh, Roman does get lunch today, folks. Chipotle for Roman. Give a roar! That's Absolutely. What Roman, what Roman, what kind of burrito are you gonna get? Yeah, I would love to know. <laughs> I know you can hear me, Roman. That's alright if you don't want to answer, that's fine. It's a, it's a it's a lot of choices. What what burrito are you getting now that you made it out of pools? He doesn't want to tell you. He doesn't want to tell me. I'm guessing not beef. <laughs> if he was the cow. Eat more chicken, you're right. Yeah, Eat more I don't chicken. know. <laughs> he might not want that. Yes, I mean, hey, you know what? We didn't say it at the top, but yeah, every person who qualifies out of pool gets a free burrito from Chipotle, so that's awesome. That's so cool, bro. I mean, that really fired up a lot of people because, man, if you looked at the brackets, you know, online as well, like we saw, one, not only just a regular entrance that we're going to be practicing for Combo Breaker, but even more so to say, wait a minute. I'm not going to eat if I don't call. I, I don't think pulse. it would be hilarious to get footage of a person finding out <laughs> that didn't know that they were going to get a burrito. Like, you made it out of your point, you get a burrito, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. It's pre-made, ready to go. Like, here's your burrito. That's oh, so cool. Oh, oh, oh. Grumpy Spider, please report and a to Grumpy Brawlhalla. Spider is in the grumpy building. Grumpy Spider, yeah. please report to Brawlhalla. I'm not going to tell you again. <laughs> Go to Brawlhalla. If you're out here watching uh, some killer instinct, we appreciate it, but don't get knocked out of your Brawlhalla pool because you won't get a burrito. You're not getting a burrito. All right, but Apex Bonanno here on this loser's top 24 finals for this pool. Yeah, I mean, Apex is in loser's side now, <laughs> which is insane to think about. That man. is, yeah, because if anyone's so going to be... Strong. Uh, yeah, especially like... You know, we've hit a point in Killer Instinct, and it's like this in uh, Guilty Gear now, too, where it's just like, look, everybody is a killer in these pools. So, it uh, becomes harder to call the matches. Yes. It becomes harder to call the matches. It's like I was saying earlier, 
if you had Aphex and Zenkai and you asked most people, I think most people would have said Aphex, man, but Zenkai is showing up. He yes. popped off, man. He did a great job. Yes. And we got Veneno here. So we're going to see some Jago Rash matchup. Not wow. not so such a fantastic matchup for this Jago. Is this is crazy because we've not seen Trevor show up at all on stream. Trevor got knocked out by Aphex. Really? So, yeah, this has been a run. If you're checking it out here at home, folks, the story goes Aphex. Uh, 3-0 over Hops, losing to Zenkai, and then taking on Trevor to make it to this point against Venado Raccoon, who went 3-0 over Hops. So the double jeopardy was, okay. was stopped at Venado. Okay. <laughs> so here we are right now. This is going to be the loser's finals of this pool, correct? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. So this is going to determine who is out of the tournament and who is going to be making it out of the pool. Exactly. So Jago and Rash. Two really strong characters here. Jago kind of, you know, hitting the midfield, if I remember correctly right yes. now, with base on the cast. So. Very much so. One of the things is he does have a lot of pressure. He's kind of like Cammy with a fireball, for right, those of right, you guys right. are Street Fighter fans. His frame trap game is so good, and Rash doesn't have a reversal without meter. Yes. So that could be a recipe for disaster, possibly. Ooh. The dash cancel there. All right. Uh, ooh, good attempt though, because yeah, that sweep could have been broken. The shadow counter coming a mile away. And Apex is going to take advantage of this with some manuals. Nice medium breaker. Ooh, instinct pop. Yes, We're going to see some health regeneration here with this instinct. Ooh, no punish though, and still able to get the far heavy kick. And take one of those, get a little bit of extra shadow meter. Oh, get you out saw of my the, skies. The micro dash into <laughs> yeah. like, I'm waiting for you, bro. I know you're going to do it. Oh, the teleport down. When you do that Ooh. wicked tongue, it teleports you straight to the ground as soon as you pop your instinct. Exactly. All right. That first round in the first game. Oh, he's the light confirm. Good break, good break. Oh, it Big shut down the lockout. shadow fireball, too. That got a little scrambly there in the corner for a second there. Veneno on his second instinct. Whoa! Oh my god, Aphex outspaced that. Yeah, you are reaching. KV blew out here. So the oh Ooh, no! Crushed the low. And that's a heavy lockout. Go for the Battle Maniacs. Has meter. Gosh. There was so much potential damage yes. there left on the table that Aphex could have actually taken that match. No! Oh. No, no, no! Why? There was no Veneno's reason to Veneno's going to get health counter. back from this. Exactly. He's going to get battery under and two more fireballs. And now he's not in danger. Yes. This is what we're talking about. When yes. you're in danger in KI, you can confirm Ultra and the match. Yeah, I mean, decisions were made here, but Apex with an excellent throw to the corner. One more touches. All that Apex needs goes for chip. boom because of chip. All right, cool. But you got to be careful in these scenarios. This is a do or die. You cannot play with your food in something man, like this. Leaving these players alive. You're leaving a, a, a hungry man alive when the burrito's on the line, that's when he comes back on that you. That famous you clip, that famous combo <laughs> breaker clip, we all know too well, right? Yep. One touch, all that we needed was a detonation. Come on now. We got the pressure here going on from Veneno. That is going to be minus. I wonder why Apex backdash there. Maybe he was scouting uppercut. Mm. Oh, oh, tough. And we're seeing a lot of early lockouts in this match. There's a lot of damage to be had. Oh, try to go for the heavy kick, but, you know, fireball is a giant sun. Oh my god, this pressure. Plus. He has no meter yeah. to shadow counter, and backdash will blow it up. So the forward roundhouse is the good pressure tool to use in this scenario. Oh, try oh. to go for light DP, but the Wicked Ton finding the mark first. Quick around the draw is Apex. Oh, look at oh. this lockout. That's a life bar. Boom. Very nice. And that's, oh, oh we got Apex. that tall? That's how you feel, Apex? Hey, you know Apex is a showman. Come oh, on I know, now. I know. <laughs> Nobody plays a rainbow toad with sunglasses and doesn't show off. Come on. He's not He's not here to be modest. All right. Roundhouse trying to get those plus frames. Wrecking ball. Oh, not oh, the wrong God. answer. Not necessarily the wrong answer, but a forge and then carried over to the other side. Another one, I mean, a risky timing. I wonder, uh, Sand Heavy Punch for Jago at least might have been able to bust out that. Uh, oh, yeah, it's definitely ball. possible. Yeah. It's tough to gauge which exactly. strength and distance it is on those Wrecking Balls. They're very, very hard to tell. Tough to break on those kicks as Ooh, well. Wake up buttons. Yep. Veneno's going to build his instinct here, yes, actually. actually. should be. Oh, no, so close! He did one more rep to get instinct with a pot. 
reset the KV meter, had two bar to get health back. But this confirmed will get game two for Apex. It's not a bad call out there. I do not disagree with Veneno trying to go for that because yes, that could have been big to go into that next round. No, it could have been serious. I mean, like, this is a character, when we talk about not wanting to leave characters alive, especially with Instinct, Jago's like gotta be one of the number ones because he literally gets his health back. Exactly. You definitely do not want to deal with that. Ooh. Oh, good overhead confirmed from Veneno. Oh, nice boot. Steal the turn right back. Veneno's having a tough time dealing with the down Wicked Tongue. Yeah. It's definitely blowing up a lot of his anti-air attempts and stuff like that. Apex is kind of just boot. spacing him out here in the corner, plus frames. Ooh. This is harassment at its finest. Yeah, I mean, keep you guessing in this corner. When's it my turn to try to throw out a DP? And it's too risky business here. Uh, wow. <laughs> All right. I DP. Oh, that was so smart for him yes. to crush that so yes. that he can get health back as well. Yes. He's gonna. Oh, he went damage here. Okay. Ooh. What? No, no, no. <laughs> you did walk up DP on Burrito Point? <laughs> oh my god. Scary stuff here. People make some wild decisions when they're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the bike, yep. get off good of call, me. Good call, good call, good call. Veneno's still hanging on there. Nice slow. Got the stagger. So we'll be able to keep this combo going. Light breaker here from Veneno. Look at all the meter there for Apex 2. Oh, Ooh. what a jump. That was a textbook perfect jump yep, timing. And a lock. Got the throw. So one more confirm. It's all that Apex needs. Nice. nice. Oh. Health back here for Veneno. Oh, oh, the counter breaker! The first one of the tournament here! It goes for damage, okay. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Fully charged in your face, nice jab oh for the Oh my god, he oh. just needs one more confirm and he can bring Apex into Ultra. One more confirm, can he survive this instinct? Shadow, DP. Wake up, Shadow. Watch the boot, watch, okay. Oh, oh, that actually no. stuffed the button. <gasps> what a break. Oh! Veneno is on the board. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. Apex is, he's not mad. He's like, okay. Yeah, I like okay. It. I might have fooled around a little bit there. Yeah. <laughs> but you won't do it again, though. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. no. I don't blame Veneno for going for that at all. Not yeah, a Apex idea. is definitely antsy on the breaks. We've been seeing a lot of these early lockouts, like you said, too. So, Oh, jeez, relax. Oh, my God, wake up, win kick. I like this guy. Mm. Let's go. Okay. Wrecking ball, heavy lockout, so we can build up damage on Ram. Nice, Ender. Wrap it up there. Let's see what Veneno comes back with this time. <laughs> Let's see some corner pressure here, yeah, plus, plus frames. Okay, I mean, that was, a, that was a gimme. Okay. Veneno still has the ability to get some health back here, unless Apex locks him out like that. Yeah, CSC's early breaks, and Veneno is kind of cracking Damn. under the pressure here. Apex doesn't even represent counter, because look, Veneno is not, until here, been successful on these breaks. The percentage is just too low to even try it. Oh. That was almost a sick confirm there from Veneno. Uh, oh, kick. okay. Got the anti air though. Oh, no instinct pop. That was so weird. That's so weird looking. It always throws me off. Wrecking ball, oh, maybe. One touch. DP, nice. nice. Threading the knee. Oh! Wow. Get that out of my face. What is that? Ugh. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Into the low confirm. That was such a cool match. Yes. Veneno, we started to see him fight back a little bit, and we got the hug. We get the hug. Beautiful set between these two. Apex advancing into loser's side. Top 24 here at Combo Breaker 2023. 20, pool A block has been tremendous. This pool in particular, the second wave of Pool A. It's so absolutely cool. Absolutely stacked. Like this was, again, you know, you're gonna find killers no matter what pool you're in, uh, in Killer Instinct, but this one was definitely one of the harder ones to get through as well.